Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming back at you for our test route one. I'm full cell driving 10.12.2. Um, if you're seeing this first, this is, might be my first 10.12.2 video. I'm not sure. I've been really busy the last week and really uh, constrained for time. So I haven't been able to get one out. That being said, I have recorded videos for Asheville. It's just the editing for those take longer, and of course I haven't had time to edit them. I record on this one instead. Um, you want to see those, they're not great. Uh, to say the least, Asheville is hardly improved. There was like one improvement. Um, so it's not the prettiest video, but put it down in the comments if you want me to edit. It takes some extra time to edit those because of the 360 camera and everything. Um, but definitely not the greatest drive there. Uh, Hendersonville is still improved. Honestly, I think 10.12.2 is exactly the same as 10.12.1. It, it fixed a couple bugs uh, with the crashing and full cell driving and that stuff. And yeah. Uh, so we are just going to see if there's any major difference on this route. Um, so that's a little bit different. It, it stayed a little bit further to the right. However, I've gotten this way already a couple times on this version, and it didn't do that the last couple times. Good merge onto the highway. as usual on the highway. Again, needs to get over earlier on that type of um, off-ramp. Gonna keep on complaining about that until it's fixed. See, that was good. Waited for that car and got over only a small amount of hesitancy. My preference probably would have been to speed up and go through that yellow light, but we're here now. I think I've sped up most of this video because there hasn't really anything to been of note. Uh, I'm just kind of doing a checkup here. Um, it's been doing well um, so far. Of course, we haven't got to the hardest part, which is starting here and going all the way up until the turn. Third test. No blinker this time. But it does get in the right, correct lane. No. That is the wrong lane. It gets in the correct lane and it's like, I want to get in the wrong lane now. I'm having to press the accelerator to get it to go through. I'm lifting off. Hey, hey, and it stayed in the right spot. That's perfect. Well, not perfect, perfect, if I'm going to be serious. But that's very good. That's very good. Um, I'm going to take a quick pit stop here. And um, we'll be back on the road. Okie dokie, everyone. Let's see 
so we've got zero disengagements and so far the best it's ever been I'd say uh, on this route and we just have to make it on this road without swerving into the turn lanes look at that so it, it <laughs> thought it was in the left turn lane and decided to change lanes into the right lane which is odd I mean it, that's acceptable I guess but it, it needs to know it's it was never in the turn lane that it just needs to stay to the right now I just had a thought that car took it was, wasn't paying attention to the light I wonder if autonomous cars will honk the horn at the car in front to let it know hey the light turn like a human if it stayed there long enough you would just give a light honk to let them know hey the light changed pay attention but would an autonomous car do the same thing like it's not like it's gonna go around the car so here's our test good okay that's one down we got two more I think <laughs> I'm <laughs> it's still not great I'm gonna press the camera button hopefully it'll record that and show show them like hey that's wrong but we'll see I'm trying to get it wasn't obvious I'm trying to make this zero disengagements we have one more spot and it has successfully done this um, on the last version we're gonna see if it does it on this version if we were following closer to that car it probably would make it I don't think it's gonna make it here No, I'm gonna have I can't I can't do it everyone. It's that same spot I'll give it another snapshot. Maybe eventually they'll get it But if that if we were following that car, I would have got it having a follow car gives it more confidence um, To stay on the right side of the road For some reason it shouldn't matter, but it does uh, So yeah, unfortunately, that's not a direct disengaging drive um, Though every every previous bit of that was the best it's ever been It almost messed that up too. But um, okay, so yeah, that's um, I can't determine if that was the best it's ever been. I guess by, based on disengagements, no, because I've done this with zero disengagements before. Um, based strictly based on um, performance in terms of how smooth everything felt, yeah, it's some of the best it's ever been for sure. Um, if you have questions for me, put them down below. And I will see you in the next video, everyone. Bye.